Hello, George, you have the floor. Hi, George, you have the floor. Yes, I am here, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I welcome you to the Savio Conference 6.0. Uh, my name is George at JT Friday, and I'm going to be your host for today. And it's nice to see everybody again. Um, I remember the last conference we had, we had so much to learn. We had so many inspiring things to hear from our speakers. Today, we're learning about soft skills and how it can contribute to, of course, the superpower that we have as young people, and of course, for our safety and protection. Yes, uh, now I would like to invite to the podium uh, the convener of the Civil Conference in person of Mr. Taiwo Akinlami. I'm going to read Mr. Taiwo Akinlami's citation in a bit. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Taiwo Akinlami is a public interest and social development legal practitioner the child safeguarding and protection of family strengthening innovator and global content owner and ethicist. The SAFE, the SAFE, S -A -F -E, an acronym um, for children way in Nigeria and arguably, and arguably Africa's doing of this field, of this field rather. Though his work has reached over 10 million children, primary and secondary working with over 250 leading national and international organizations spread across national and global economic, social, and social sector as monitoring and evaluation expert, content and curriculum developer and consultant to the likes of UNICEF, the British Council Nigeria, European Union funded and British Council managed rule of law and anti-corruption, ROLAC, UNFPA, SOS, Children's Village International, USA, state and federal governments and institutions of learning respectively. He owns the intellectual property of over 60 registered products, books and services, and leads consistent media campaign, making appearances on major media across the world, including the British Broadcasting Corporation, which is the BBC. Uh, he's a special court appointed advocate for children the, at the United States of America, a county mandated reporter and United, at the United States of America, USA. His project, securing a friendly and protective environment for children and family strengthening, was recognized and showcased by Facebook and Google at the Europe, Middle East, and Africa Child Safety Summit in 2017. His social advocacy and empowerment and family gathering strengthening effort in the last 23 years has contributed significantly to promulgating of the, to the promulgation of the Child Rights Act of 2003. Safeguarding and protection policy of Lagos State Government. He's the co-founder and CEO of the Power Parenting Company, LLC. He's married to his adorable and supportive wife, Ms. Olufumlayo um, Akilami, and the family is blessed with Sierra, Tieria Yolua, Tieria Yolua, a precious son. And of course, it is with great pleasure that I welcome to the podium Mr. Taiwa Kilami um, to give us the convener's remarks. Thank you, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, um, George, for, <laughs> for being here today. I appreciate you. I mean, um, anytime we call you, you uh, respond to us. I know that your schedule also can be busy. Thank you for taking time to be with us today. Uh, I appreciate it. I celebrate it. I do not take it for granted. I want to thank all of our speakers today uh, who have taken time to be with us today. Uh, I want to thank them immensely. For taking time to be with us. I want to thank our executive director, uh, the Lady Milayo, for being here today, for working tenaciously behind the scene to make this program a great success. I want to thank uh, Charles and Yumunke, who I've seen around today, for being part of this program today. I want to thank Olabi Siafolabi for being part of this program today. 
I want to thank everyone who is working behind the scene, my colleagues in the office. I want to thank Sefiat particularly for taking time to ensure that we have a great day today. She's the engine room, you know, uh, leading the entire, en entire force. You know, uh, thank you very much, Sefiat. Thank you, um, Farida, for the comfort and the contribution that you make. Uh, is our sixth edition of, um, of um, Save View Conference. Uh, children, I want to thank you for coming. Uh, I do not take your participation for granted in any way. You are young, but you are wise. You are young, but you are responsible. You are young and you are powerful. You are young, you have a lot of energy. So I do not take your participation today for granted. Thank you for joining us. We want to thank our parents who released their children to be part of this program today. Six years on that we have started this conference. We started in 2017. Children, I hope you know that the World Children's Day uh, started as far back as 1924. I mean, uh, it is a date set apart all over the world to talk about your rights as children, to talk about your protection, to talk about um, the kind of knowledge you need to have to be able to protect yourself from every kind of abuse. And so we realized that that day is hardly spoken about in Nigeria and in other parts of the world. And so we decided to begin to call attention to this program, particularly for the sake of the African children. How do we begin to see that this conversation, this discussion that is going on all over the world is inclusive of the children in Africa? And that's why we are here today. And today we are gonna to be talking about something very, very important, soft skills, soft skills. What do we mean? Skills that are part of you, skills that you must embrace as a child so that you can be a great person. And so I'm gonna tell you a story that tries to talk about um, these soft skills. And um, so story, 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 once upon a time, time, time. Also, there was a nine-year-old boy who was, in school, and this nine-year-old boy was accused of stealing somebody's wristwatch. And so somebody brought his dad's wristwatch to when they were in primary three, uh, three, third year in primary school. This boy was nine years old. And so when then the wristwatch was missing, they were looking for the wristwatch. They searched everywhere to look for that wristwatch. They didn't find the wristwatch. And so when they went on break, during lunch break, they came back and searched everybody's bag and they found this wristwatch in the bag of this nine-year-old boy. And everybody in the class began to yell, he's a thief, he stole the wristwatch. How did the wristwatch get into his bag? They were saying all sorts of things, raining abuses at him. And he was, he was disturbed. He said, I didn't take this wristwatch. Somebody must have put it in my bag. Somebody set me up. I didn't take the wristwatch. Nobody believed him. You know, they ushered him to the presence of their teacher, their class teacher. And their class teacher, and their class teacher asked him a simple question. No, when they took him to the class teacher, the class teacher asked the children, what is the issue? They said, this nine-year-old boy had stolen a wristwatch. The teacher asked them, how did you know he stole the wristwatch? They said they found the wristwatch in his bag. He said, well, he cannot steal your wristwatch. I don't believe he stole your wristwatch. And even if all of you believe that he stole the wristwatch, I don't believe he can steal your wristwatch. 
I know this boy. I've taught him from primary one. He's well behaved. When we ask you guys to go on break, he plays hard. He loves everybody. When he returns, when we ring the bell, that people should come back from break, is the first person to sit on his seat. He plays hard, but he's responsible. Not only that, he's one of the few people who will come to class in the morning and say, good morning, Miss John. Good morning, Miss, Miss John. Hope you had a great night. Hope you are doing great today. Is a kind of child who was jovial, lively. Now, this boy is a boy, is one of the boys, is the boy that when we close school, is one of the few people that will come to me and say, Miss John, good night. Sure, do have a great night and all of that. Miss John said, this boy that I know from his behavior, from the way he carries himself, though he's young, he's not stupid. Though he's young, he's responsible. Though he's young, he's not um, irresponsible. So from this, what I know about him, I don't think he can take your wristwatch. And now I'm ready to follow you to the head of school. I'm ready to put my job on the line for this boy. This boy could not have stolen your wristwatch. I don't know what happened there. And so everybody, you know, just left him. Everybody, you know, was looking at him. It was like the case of the woman that was to be stoned to death in the story of the Bible. And Jesus said, those who have no sin should cast the first stone. And everybody left him. And the woman looked at him and said, you know what? Continue to do the things that you do. Continue to behave the way you behave. Your character from primary one has spoken for you today. Now, that boy may not be the best in English language in school. I'm not asking you not to be the best in English language. That boy may not be the best in arithmetic or mathematics. I'm not even asking you to be the best, not to be the best in arithmetic or mathematics. That boy may not be the best in numeracy. I'm not asking you not to be the best in numeracy, but that boy was the best in character, in attitude, in greeting people, in playing hard, in playing fair, in returning to class early, in behaving himself. The boy was not perfect. He had his own issues as a boy. Every child will have his or her own issues but the boy was responsible. And when we're talking about responsibility, we're not saying you have to, you should not be a child. A child will have childish behavior sometimes or most of the time. But what we are saying is that you need to conduct yourself. Don't say I'm a child, so nothing matters. The book that I read says, even a lad, even a child is distinguished when his conduct is pure and right. So what we want to discuss today is to lead you in that path. How do you begin to understand that life does not reward only those who are good in maths, those who are good in English, those who are good in geography. Life rewards those who behave well, those who carry themselves well, those who are good siblings to their sisters and to their brothers, those who share their toy, those who share their food, those who share things that they have. Those who are always there. Now, research has now found, people have now found that people like that, they are the one who rise to the top in life. Not those who are necessarily good in maths. Not those who are necessarily good in English. If you are good in maths, to your maths knowledge, add good behavior. Add ability to greet. Ability to be there for people. Ability to be resilient. Resilience means being strong. Add being supportive. Help other people. Ask yourself today. Don't, don't join people who say, this is what I want to become when I grow up. No. Begin to tell yourself today, this is the problem I want to solve when I grow up. And I want to begin to solve it now. Because the problem you don't solve now, you are not going to be able to solve in the future. The world is not looking for those who want to become this and that and that. The world is looking for those who want to be empathetic, those who want to encourage others. Those who just want to be nice. In this age and time, when bullying is the order of the day, look at what happened to that boy. His mates in school, they bullied him. 
they accused him. But nobody in the class stood for him. That's what children do most of the time. We don't want to be nice. Even some of, some, some of us don't want to be nice. We consider other people. If I'm nice now, they will think I'm weak. No, being nice does not mean you are weak. Being nice means you are strong. Being nice means you are disciplined. You need to be nice. You need to be kind. When somebody falls, you're, the next thing is not for you to laugh. <laughs> Make jest of the person. The next thing is that you want to see how you can help the person to rise up because we do all fall. You know, and I'll round up with another story. I'll round up with another story. You know, many years ago, I was in the law school. You know, I'm a lawyer. So I was in the law school. In the law school, I slept off in class. And let me tell you, <laughs> boys and girls, it's wrong to sleep in class, right? But at my age, you know, you know, 20 something years old, I slept off in class, you know, very wrong, you know, but that's what happened. And as I slept off, as I tried to raise my head, saliva was dropping in my mouth, you know, as if my mouth was tap water. Saliva was just coming out like this. It was enough for to fill a cup to drink, you know. <laughs> And so there were three girls in front of me, you know, and they began to laugh. <laughs> As they began to laugh, what did I do? I began to laugh also. <laughs> As I began to laugh, what did they do? They just stopped. Because they did not expect me to laugh. They expected me to go back and put my head down. They expected me to run out of the class, but I didn't do any of that. Because the way my mind was working was that we all make mistakes. It's wrong that I stepped in class. It's wrong that I drew, I drew saliva when I woke up. And it's wrong. It's not right. It's embarrassing as a matter of fact. But you don't laugh at me because of that. Because you too, you make your own mistakes. You make your own errors. And if this world, if all of us are perfect, we wouldn't need each other. And so I, I laughed and um, those girls, they began to look away. And I want to encourage you today. Be nice. Be kind to people. Make up your mind you are going to be nice. It does not pay not to be nice. It does not pay to be rude. It does not pay not to greet. It does not pay for you just to be around and you want to, you just don't want to be there for people. Be confident in yourself. Know that at the end of the day, life is going to give you according to who you are. Who you are is not max. Who you are is not number one in English. Who you are is not number um, one in, in, in geography. Who you are is your character. You are going to be judged at the end of the day by the content of your character. And it is the content of your character that should reflect how you do in maths, how you do in English, how you do in all other subjects. But everything rises and falls on your character. So the question I'm asking you today, boys and girls, are you a boy of character? Are you a girl of character? What are you doing to build your character? Thank you very much for um, allowing me to talk to you today, young people. I want to believe you learned one or two things. If you really do, uh, you want to go to the chat area, I believe, and just, just let me know what you learned. You know, thank you very much, George. You can take it away. Bye for now. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, you know, kind words, for your um, you know, nice postulation. I think one of the major things I brought out from this story is the stories that you shared is that how we carry ourselves, how we present ourselves really matter. And this is one of the things that we as young people need to start holding ourselves accountable for. We need to start making sure that we are doing better. And of course, giving better to our friends and colleagues, uh, even in school. Uh, so uh, friends, we are moving on to the next item of the, on the agenda, which is icebreaking. Uh, for the icebreaker, I'm going to be asking you all to do something for me real quick. So go into the chat box and text me your name, age, city, and state, and something, just one thing, about the superhero you like. And for me, let me speak for myself. Now, the superhero I like the most is... Uh, um, you know, um, uh, Captain America, yes. I like the fact that Captain America always knows um, when to calm himself and when to protect himself. And the fact that he has this shield thing, you know, I believe that if I am 
uh, if I have that kind of power, yeah, if I can protect myself anytime I want, if I can, you know, tell people around me to just, you know, leave me alone when I want, and nobody will question me, like, why, why are you trying to stop me? That is a useful power. And of course, people listen to me. Of course, he's Captain America for crying for cry out loud. So go into the chat board. Let me know what you think. Let me know the superhero that you like. And of course, tell me your name, your age, and the city you are joining us from. In the chat box, please. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, prepare your mind uh, when, for what to expect uh, in the next uh for the, our next speaker which is uh, miss olabisi i'm going to be reading a citation right now so so miss olabisi is uh sorry okay miss olabisi uh with the full name olabisi afolabi she is a social development lawyer she's as child safeguarding and protection advocate, and she's a faculty member at the Taiwan Kilami Child Protection Training Academy. And she has you know, contributed immensely to the growth of the for you know, children, teenagers. And of course, there's one thing I know about Ms. Olavisi is that she does not live in the same way she met you. So when you meet her, of course, you're, going to, you're not going to live the same way. Um, without further ado, let us get that as a welcome. Miss Ola, Miss Yafolabi, to the podium. Thank you, everyone. Miss Ola, Miss, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are we doing today? Um, it's such a beautiful thing to be here today. I'm super excited. I'm going to be having a very wonderful, wonderful conversation today. Um, if you are here and you know you're happy to be here, let, let the comment section go buzzing. If I'm using your mommy's phone, your daddy's phone, you should be talking to us. Let's hear from you. Talk to us. How are you guys doing today? All right. Um, let's have a conversation quickly. Right. So, Mr. George was asking earlier that you know we develop superheroes. I want to ask. I want to ask you a question. A question. Anybody here has any special superpowers? Anybody? You have any special superpowers? But maybe yours is too, I don't know what it is. I wish I could see um, comments, but I'm here on Zoom. You can you put it down there, we'll see it, right? I'm sure a lot of people have wonderful answers as to what their superpowers are. Maybe you like to, you have a lot of strength, you're good in maths, superpower is too. You're just flying and what is moving around and all that kind of stuff, right? You know, I want to know those people that have superpowers because, you know, my superpower is off the roof. I'm that guy, you know, <laughs> I'm that guy with superpowers. I want to know those people that, that we me together on this one, right? What's your superpower? Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure you have dropped wonderful actors, but I hope you know that superhero movies are not real, you know, um, superhero movies are not real because nobody, nobody in real life really trying to save themselves from danger goes up there and they begin to fly and dive and go up and down to save anybody. It doesn't really always happen like that. Let's be honest with ourselves, right? So superhero movies are not always real. They are not always real. So I want to know that because in real life, the things that you really need to fight yourself from harm is not, you know, in always in physical strength. Even firefighters who are real life heroes, firefighters, they use a lot of equipment, they use ladders, they use wonderful things that make them, you know, able to fight crime. They use all those fire extinguishers, those oars, pipes, a lot of things they are fully guarded with armor and everything. They're fully dressed up, you know, to, to fight the fire, right? So nobody really fights anything or saves themselves from danger by, you know, just strength and, and all that, really. So there's something that we need, actually. And that's what we're discussing today, you know. So this goes for you too, you know. Strength is fine, but there's something more more important than physical strength, you know, that can help you avoid, most importantly, being in the place where you're in danger. Now, two things, don't forget. You can be in danger and want to get out, but you can actually avoid danger at all costs. So, and you know, that's not strength. You don't need strength to do that. You need something more, which I'm going to be telling you very, very soon. So what is that thing that you need to protect yourself from danger? And if by any means you get into danger, what do you need to do? Because, you know, Real life superheroes do not use physical strength alone. There's something that they use, right? And because you guys are here, you are super people with super powers. I'm going to tell you, telling you what that thing is this afternoon, right? 
So what's that? What's these things? These are skills that come from your heart. You can type in the comments from your heart and your mind, not just your body. See, when you have these things I'm talking about, you have superpowers, literally. So you may not fly, you know, you may not do all those things, but you can play your role in securing a friendly and protective environment for yourself. You can't try to keep yourself safe. You know, mommy and daddy cannot be with you 24-7. In fact, it's not possible for anybody to be with you 24-7 and protect you. And even if they do that, they need you to play your role in your fiscal, in your, your protection, right? They need to play your own role. So yeah, what's that thing called? It's called soft skill. That's your superpower. Soft skills are your superpower. That's what you need to be that superhero. That's what you need to save yourself from, from any form of harm and also save people around you from any form of harm. So soft skill, soft skills, superpower, superpower, soft skill. That's what you need. Now, what are the skills that you need and how do you use them? Yes, are we ready? So I want, I'm going to ask us some questions. If I ask you these questions, then you can let me know. So help us to know together whether we have the soft skill that we need. And if you don't have it, it's fine. It's just an opportunity for you or a chance for you to actually get those skills and learn them. Learn that thing that we need for superpower, that thing that we need for, you know, that, that, that is more than our physical strength that we need. Right. So imagine a situation where someone is trying to bully you in class. And then you go, oh, do you know who I am? I understand mathematics. 24 times 24 gives us 5,478. That's not the correct answer. I'm just, I'm just going to get it. And then he says that, and this is like, let's just don't laugh and be like, what are you talking about? Math is good. Math is brilliant. But mathematics is not what you need at that time, you know, to, to solve the problem of somebody trying to bully you. But you need some kind of skills in that regard. Let's just look at you and be like, what are you talking about? You know, so nothing is wrong with math, but is it needed at that time? Right, so one question I'm going to ask you, this or that, let me know what you think in the comment section. So your mom says, don't do this or do this. They give you instructions. Don't do this, it's not safe. Don't do this, it's not good for you. And you're like, what do you usually do? Don't think about it too much. Just answer straight, what do you do or don't do? When you answer the question, it lets you know whether you actually have those skills, that superpower, soft skill that you need to actually, you know, keep yourself from any form of danger, to play your role in keeping yourself safe. Come on, because nobody wants to be abused. Nobody wants to go through any more physical pain or troubles. We don't want to be bullied. It damages the heart. It damages you. And then we don't want to also damage other people. So we want to be, you know, have to have a wonderful childhood, like we're going to saying. So number one, if your mom says, oh, don't do this, don't do that, what do you usually do? You usually say, okay, mom, I've heard I'm going to do that. Or you listen, or you be like, no, I'm going to go see for myself. Let me see what's going to happen. What do you usually do? So if your answer is, I will see for myself, then that's not a soft skill. Listening is a soft skill. Listening to take instructions, asking reasonable questions. I say, Mom, why do you say that? Why do you say I shouldn't go outside alone? Why are you saying I shouldn't talk to people? Should I have to people I'm not sure of, I don't trust on the road? What is your reason? That helps you to actually now play your role. Because you don't go there in the first place, then you're safe for the time being. So number one thing, listening. Listening is a soft skill. Secondly, what do you do when somebody comes to you, touch you in a way that you do not like uncomfortably? Or somebody says something to you, or somebody says something to another person, and like this is not good enough. How do you handle it? Do you say something to somebody, do you tell them, please stop, don't touch me that way, respectfully? Do you keep quiet or do you talk to your parents? Or do you just keep quiet and say, oh, I don't want to cause trouble? What do you usually do? That will help you know whether you have soft skill needed or not. So if you keep quiet, then that's not good enough. But if you speak up and let the person know what they're doing is wrong, then that is a soft skill. Speaking up is a soft skill. Being able to express yourself is a soft skill. Another question. When you see your friend very sad and solemn, and they're like, oh, it's just looking like they are like eating their lunch, everything is looking like the world is coming to an end. And you're like, oh, well, that's, she's in the mood again. That's how she does every afternoon, break time. She's always sad and moody. Or do you say, what's wrong with you? I'm here to help. I'm your friend. What is your usual response? If your response is the first one, she's in the mood again. That's not good enough. But if your response is, what is wrong with you? Then that is a soft skill. Kindness and empathy is a soft skill. If you have that, then come on, let's do this and let's keep doing it. That's a soft skill and you're on the right path. Keep doing that, keep showing love, keep showing care and compassion. That's a soft skill. It will open doors for you and it will help you keep yourself safe and keep other children, your friends, keep them safe as well, right? So my last question, right? Someone is trying to bully you and I'm like, hey, come here, bring that and get that for me. What do you do? Do you just look at them and try to fight back and be like, no, you can't do that to me. They do, no, 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 I fight back. Or be quietly say, stop that. Move away and go tell somebody, right? You know, one is a smart move, one is not. The smart move is a soft skill, something of boldness, 
At the same time, being smart and wise enough to leave the scene equally. I'm going to fight back because you don't know where the fighting will end. So just take your time, leave the place, and move on to go and report to somebody. That's a soft skill. Boldness, wisdom, and to move. So I've talked about listening. I've spoken about empathy and kindness. I've spoken about you being able to speak up boldly and not being afraid. At the same time, polite and respectful. See, if you do all these things, come on. Come on, where are my superheroes? He already is a superpower. In fact, if you are watching me right now, you should raise your hands up and say, I'm the girl or I'm that boy with superpowers. And my superpowers are these soft skills that I have. Those skills that I have from my heart. Not just by physical strength, not just by basketball, no. But from my heart, I have these skills. But from my mind, I can think and do and take the right decisions. Then, superhero time, you guys are the best. Right, so are you doing that already? Raise your hand up and say, I am that girl with the superpowers, the superpower soft skills. So that's my message for you today, guys. No more than that. First of all, don't forget that nobody, nobody in real life fights any problems with physical strength alone. There's a skill that comes from your heart and your mind. And if you don't already have them, as I've said, embrace them. Start using them and you see the difference for yourself and for your friends. Thank you for listening, guys. Where are my people with superpowers? Bye. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for giving us that brilliant perspective to um, being a superhero. Yes, when the question came up, I was thinking, oh, superheroes, ah, probably somebody that can carry a whole house and then do it in me, just like Hulk. Or somebody that can eat a man, then clear everywhere. And now I'm yeah. just the better idea of what superpowers can be. Superpowers, as you said, listening skills, the ability to know when to just leave the scene and just report to a, a responsible adult, the ability to have empathy towards your fellow students, your friend, and of course, even your neighbors. These are amazing superpowers that, of course, can help us as young people thrive in our communities. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for your kind words. Now, without further ado, we're going to move on to the next thing on the agenda, which will be to watch a very short video before we have our next speaker. Uh, the video is going to take the next five minutes, but I want you to um, you know, pay rapt attention. And of course, don't forget, you can always answer some of the questions I asked earlier. Tell me your name, your age, your location. And of course, if you were to be a spiral, which one would you be and what would be your superpowers? I'll be waiting for your boss. Take it away. Hi friends! Welcome to another social emotional learning video from Mile Marks. Today, we'll be learning all about social skills. In this video, you will learn these three things. 1. What are social skills? 2. The difference between good and poor social skills. And 3. Tips to help you improve your social skills. Ready? Let's get started! So what exactly are social skills? Social skills are the ways in which you behave, talk, and play when you're around other people. It's how good of a job you do having conversations, understanding people's feelings, and behaving when you're in certain places. Social skills are important because they help you know what to do or say to get along better with the kids and adults that you interact with every day. Learning to get along with others will also be very important in your life as you get older. So what's the difference between good and poor social skills? Well, first, let's take a look at someone who has great social skills. This is Rhea. Rhea does a good job starting a conversation with her peers, and she knows just what to say to keep that conversation going. She lets others have a turn to talk, and when they're talking, she is focused and shows them that she is listening. She nods along, smiles, and asks questions, all without interrupting. When it's her turn to speak, Rhea thinks about what she wants to say before she says it. When Rhea is with her friends, she does a great job playing nicely. She is polite and uses her manners whenever she can. She says, please, thank you, and excuse me whenever she's around others. 
Rhea knows when it's time to joke around and have fun, like when she's at the park with her friends, and when it's time to be focused, like when she's at school. Rhea also does a great job of knowing how other people are feeling. She does this by paying attention to their social cues. A social cue is a clue that lets you know how someone else is feeling. This can be a person's body language, the look on their face, their tone of voice, or how close or far they stand from you. If Rhea sees that someone is feeling sad, she thinks about what she can say or do to be helpful to that person. When Rhea is the one feeling sad or mad, she uses her words to express how she's feeling to others. Now, let's talk about Ollie. Ollie's social skills are... <laughs> not so great. When others are talking, Ollie interrupts them, gets distracted, or walks away from the conversation. Sometimes, the other kids are wondering if Ollie is even listening to what they're saying. When it's his turn to speak, he often says things without thinking and can sometimes hurt the other person's feelings. Ollie can be bossy when playing with his friends, especially if they aren't playing a game that he wants to play. Ollie often forgets to use his manners and always has to be reminded to say please, thank you, or excuse me. It's hard for Ollie to read social cues, so he ends up doing or saying the wrong things at times. Like when his mom is busy on the phone, Ollie still tries to get her attention even though it's not the best time to do so. Or he'll make a joke in the middle of class when everyone else is trying to focus. When Ollie gets upset, he has a hard time sharing his feelings and sometimes will throw a big fit. These are some of the reasons the other kids don't really like being around Ollie. So what about you? Are you more like Rhea? Or maybe you're like Ollie? Or maybe you're somewhere in between? For some kids, learning social skills can be really challenging because it's hard for them to understand how others are thinking or feeling. They also have a difficult time knowing what to say or how to act in different situations. So whether you're like Rhea or Ali, since we spend a lot of time around other people, it's always helpful to try to improve your social skills. Here are four tips that can help. Number one, think before acting. Social skills are all about how your words and actions affect other people. When you're around others, you should always think to yourself, is what I'm about to say or do going to make people want to be around me? Or will it make them want to get away? By taking time to think before acting, you can make better social skills choices like using your manners or playing nicely with others. Number two, watch and practice conversations. If you're someone who has a hard time talking to others, spend some time observing conversations. This can be in real life or even on a TV show. Try to see what others do or say to keep a conversation going. Watch their social cues and how they show others that they are listening. When you get a chance, practice these skills with your family and friends until you get comfortable. Number three, practice using empathy. Empathy is being able to understand how someone might be thinking or feeling. We can tell how others are feeling by their social cues. Start paying attention to people's faces and body language to get a better idea of how they might feel. Then ask yourself, what can I do to be helpful to this person? Using empathy helps you to better get along with others. Number four, stay positive. Some kids have negative thoughts about themselves whenever they get around other people. These thoughts can keep them from wanting to interact with other kids or adults. If this happens to you, practice replacing those negative thoughts with positive ones. Doing so can help you feel more confident when you're in social situations. Even though learning social skills can be a challenge, with plenty of practice, you can start to improve. Well, that's all we have for you today, friends. I hope you learned a lot and you found this information helpful. Wow, that was an amazing video. I'm sure you learned a thing or two from that. Social skills, good one and the bad ones. Now, social skills, as we've learned, is how you interact with people around you, friends in school, friends in the playground, how you relate to people in class, and of course, how you even interact with your parents. Now, I would like us to make sure that we pin down our questions just in case you have questions remember the chat box uh chat box to um do um ask your questions and without further ado i'd like to invite our next speaker to the podium in person of miss ine i'm going to be reading our uh um a citation uh, miss ayo mrs ayo ine is a business and family life strategist She's a child safeguarding and protection advocate. She seeks to build a heaven 
for women, irrespective of their personal and career stages and choices. She's a faculty member at the Taiwo Academy, uh, Academy. And of course, without, if your hands are not too busy, let us press the other welcome. This is Ayo Ayeni to our next. You have the floor, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so amazing to be here. Thank you very much, Mr. George. I have been battling with my internet, but I, I hope, let me not say that I think, <laughs> I hope that I found a lasting solution. I've been swapping all around all day. So um, I don't know if I'm, okay, I'm allowed to share screen. Yes, I think so. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so without further ado, let me see. Uh, okay. okay, can everybody see my screen? Yes, yes, ma'am. Awesome. So I, I feel like most of the job has been done. Um, I Unfortunately, I missed Mr. Kinlami's speech. I know that there must have been plenty of wisdom from there. Um, but I heard Ms. Olapis's own. And so this is me doing the easy work. How is everybody doing? I hope you have enjoyed the program so far. Um, so today we'll be talking about soft skills, my superpower for safety and protection. I'm sure we've heard this topic over and over and over during the course of the program. And my name again is Ayo Ayeni, and I'm glad to be um, here today. So before we just move into the really interesting stuff, I'd like to clarify that we have an understanding of what the topic is. I'm sure by now we do, even from the last video that you know was shown, even I learned what soft skills was about. But because I already have the slides, <laughs> here we are. So soft skills, as the video, as we watch in the video, as Mr. Labisi has um, explained to us, are those personal qualities and character traits that determine how we work and interact with others. So this is different from I'm great at maths or engineering or sweeping, you know, those things that makes us human beings, you know, like decision making, yes or no, what's my decision, like empathy, showing kindness and support, you know, communicating properly. Those are the kind of skills that we, that we call soft skills. And then... Let's look at what superpowers are, you know, because we are building superpowers, right? We're building superpower, our own superpowers for our safety and protection. And when we think of superpowers, what is the thing that comes to mind? It is um, superheroes, right? So let's dig deep into why superheroes are so special. Why are superheroes superheroes? Superheroes are superheroes because, number one, they have special powers and abilities that we would like to call superpowers. And they know how to use them. That's very critical, right? They also know when to use them. So those are some, you know, broad characteristics of who, what makes superheroes so great, right? They have superpowers that we wish we had, but today we are trying to build our very own superpowers, right? And then, whoa, voila! I heard Mr. Joe talking about his favorite superpower, superheroes. I hope that. Your superheroes, you can find them on this screen. We didn't have a lot of space to put them all. Um, and I know some people will say, is, is Santa a superhero? Well, the man rides on his sleigh, knows who's been naughty or nice, and he brings them gifts. That's a superpower, right? So that makes him a superhero. Um, what all these people have in common, though, is that number one, they have superpowers. They, they fight the bad guys, right? So they fight the bad guys and they make the world a better place. And that's why we love them. The second thing they all have in common is that they are not real. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, right? So I don't think that anybody knows anybody like Wonder Woman who has a lasso, a golden lasso she whips around, or somebody like Spider, Spidey who has who makes webs out of his hands and stuff like that. They are, they are really good people, but they are creative imagination of some other people. These things can't exist in real life, but what they all have in common is that they know they have superpowers, even though they are not real, they know how to use them. So imagine Spidey could make Spidey's web out of his hands, but he didn't know how to fly around the city and save people. Or Santa didn't know how to ride, you know, a sleigh, right? That would be useless, pretty much. But they know they have their superpowers, they know how to use them, and they know when to use them. So when two of Spidey's friends are having an argument, he just doesn't change into his Spidey suit and jump to the rescue, right? They know when to use their superpowers. Then there's also this other group of people 
who are superheroes because we consider them to be, but they don't really have any real superpowers, right? So there's a Koye who has a whole, she's a general who has a whole army. There's a Batman who uses his high IQ. There's Shuri who controls the entire technological um, uh, resources of our entire country, right? So there's all these people we can aspire to be. So they have something in their hands that they have turned around and they now stand in the League of Superheroes. So we want to be in the League of Superheroes today, especially where our, our safety and protection is concerned, right? And then when we think of safety and protection, what do we think of? We think of all the things that adults in our lives has done for us, right? We think about, you know, where they, you know, give us safety helmets, they may they ensure that accidents don't happen, that we don't get hurt, that we don't get hurt, whether it's physically or emotionally, you know, what all our parents and caregivers do to keep us away from the bad guys who try to take advantage of us. When we are online, you know, there are trusted adults there as well that ensure that we are safe online as well. And when things go not so well, we have our family and friends, you know, who is there to offer support to us, right? And in school, our teachers make sure that the environment is conducive for us to learn. We are happy to come to school. But did you know that you do have a role to play in your safety as well? Have you ever thought of it? That just because I'm a child does not mean I'll fold my arms and everybody's just going to rush to my rescue. We have to take responsibility for our own safety and protection as well. We have to now start thinking of, mm, what can I do? What can I do to be more involved, to support the adults in my life who are working so hard to make sure that I'm safe, that you know accidents don't happen, that bad things don't happen? This is where your superpowers come in. So we're going to look at what the superpowers are like now. So what kind of superpowers are we talking about? When we talk about these superpowers, I think what we tend to think about are things like, boom, taekwondo or boxing, right? All these skills are really good. If you can learn them, by all means, please find a way to learn them. But these aren't soft skills. These are still hard skills, although they can help us to protect ourselves too in, well, extreme circumstances, right? So let's look at the softer skills that we can start building into our superpower um, arsenal, into our superpower web to protect ourselves. The first one is values. So a very wise man, his name is Mr. Taiwa Kinlami. <laughs> He recently told me that our behaviors feed from our values. So we cannot really be who we are not on the inside. If we truly don't believe in kindness, we can only pretend to be kind for a little while. And then we'll go back to our, you know, not so great state. So when we talk about what are values, what are the things you truly believe in? you know, we should believe in as human beings, how we should be as human beings. We talk about happiness, we talk about, you know, respect, kindness, pride in yourself, you know, very good sense of self-esteem, collaborating with other people, you know, and responsibility for yourself and others to the capacity that you can do. Just because you're a child does not mean you can't take responsibility of certain things. You know, when you get to your limit, then the adults come in, right? So your, your, your values will feed your behavior. It will feed how other people see you. If you are not a respectful person, if you are not a kind person, what that does to you is that it makes you an easy target for disrespect and meanness because you truly don't believe in kindness. So it's easy for people to be unkind to you and you will take it because in your heart, you're not really kind. You understand? So it's important that we first of all learn our values. What do we truly believe in? As human beings, how do we think we should be? How do we think people should see us? That's very important. Then moving on is mindfulness. So just being aware of how things make us feel, of how a person makes us feel. So there are people who will give you a handshake and you just instinctively know that I'm not comfortable with this, right? Um, God has given us our bodies and our minds to, to serve us, right? Those things work in our good. So you can be in the midst of people and you just feel, I don't think these are good people without anybody telling you anything. It's mindfulness to say, oh, this is not the road we usually pass home or... I, I don't feel okay. I, I don't think I'm comfortable with this hug. I don't think I'm comfortable with this handshake. Or I don't, these people are acting weird. You know, that mindfulness to be able to, or this thing makes me angry. This thing makes me sad. In, to be able to know how we feel about things is called mindfulness, you know, at particular intervals. And that is one very, another important superpower that we need to start building if we don't have it right away. You know, we practice and practice and practice. And that's the beauty of being a child. We have the opportunity to practice and hone all these skills and these superpowers until we become superheroes, right? 
Uh -huh. And so the next one here is um, assertiveness. So how can you tell that you're assertive? Because it's really important that your mouth and your body and your mind work together to be saying the same thing, right? So are you able to say no without feeling guilty? Whoever, even if it's your best friend, you can say no. Can you tell others that their behavior isn't acceptable, no matter who they are? That I don't, I don't think that's kind. I, I don't think that's acceptable. I'm sorry, right? And when you're saying no, you can't be saying no. You have to be assertive to say no. I'm sorry, but no. Or I'm a, I'm a little uncomfortable. Can you, you know, keep it, keep your distance? So assertiveness is being firm in what we're saying without really being arrogant or rude or disrespectful, right? You know, the ability to speak in group situations, the ability to be able to um, stand for what you believe in, even if you are the only one doing it, right? So those are very important, um, super um, powers to have. I think I've touched a bit on this nonverbal communication part. So the nonverbal of our bodies, our mouth, our eyes, every part of our bodies must be in alignment when we are communicating. So you cannot be saying, you know, you have to be firm when you need to be firm, all right, um, without feeling bad. And another one is decision making. There are times when we have a lot of time to make decisions. There are times when we have a very short period of time to make decisions. And what will make us get really good at making decisions quickly is if we have practiced over time how to make decisions. So we're gonna break it down today because there will be times in our lives when we need to make quick decisions and we have to make the right ones. The first thing is to identify that you have a decision to make. So for example, you're so tempted, your, your uh, favorite show comes up at four and you have a test tomorrow. So you have to identify, oh my goodness, I have a decision to make. Do I watch the movie or do I study? Then you have to now then think about the different choices you have. Watch the movie or study, right? What are the pros and cons? If I watch this movie now, I am likely to fail my test because I have not prepared at all. This is the only opportunity I get, right? And this is just an example. It could be anything, okay? It could be friendships. Do I need to hang around these people quite a lot. I think I have a decision to make. It could be a whole host of things. That's the second step. The third step is, so that is the third step. So you think about what are the pros and cons, right? Then you try it out, right? So maybe you take a decision to say, I'm going to study or I'm going to watch TV. Then you reflect after the whole thing has played out. How did this decision play out? If you went ahead and watched TV and you failed your test, you know that that's not that's not a good thing. It didn't, it's not adding any value to you. But if you were able to um, overcome the temptation to watch TV and you studied instead, then you have the expertise as it were. You get better and better at making these decisions until you become until it becomes your superpower. Decision making is very critical for us as both young and and. Um, adults, both young people and adults, we have always have to make decisions. Our entire lives is some of the choices that we make. So it's an important superpower that we need to start owning right away. Now, a very um, nice exercise to help us to get started at holding us, identifying our superpowers. Remember we said we need to have the superpowers. We need to be able to know that we have them and we need to be able to know when to use them, how to use them and when to use them. So a really good one is this um, story started by Wanda Wendy. That's what she likes to call herself. She says, good morning or good day, good evening. My name is Wanda Wendy and I have superpowers. My superpowers are kindness, assertiveness, and mindfulness. I move around the city doing good, kind deeds for others and myself. I speak up for myself and others and I can think of how to make safe decisions, whether I'm online or offline. I'm aware of how I feel about places, situations, and people, and I get help from trusted adults to help me navigate this feeling. What is your superpower? So this is one exercise that I would encourage us to do. Think about what your superpowers are or what you want them to be, right? Think about how you're going to use them and when you're going to use them. And you can share it with a trusted adult around you, your parents, your teacher, and they can help you hone those skills. And when you practice and practice, you become a superhero maybe all the powers you need, all the superpowers you need to protect yourself. Get, get involved in your own safety and protection. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, one major part of your presentation that stood out was when you were 
uh, making a constellation about what Mr. Tawakilami said about our values and our behaviors. You know, the values that we have chosen as our core values, whether we like it or not, is what is going to reflect in how we behave and our attitude towards others. Thank you very much for um, those wonderful uh, words. And I hope, as I have decided by myself, you as a young person as well, you will decide to take those things and put it into action. And of course, it's not a one-time thing, as we have all been saying. It's not like a whole superpower where you get to just bring out your um, big armor or your, you know, your shield as Captain America or whatever. It is gradual. You have to be able to learn these skills gradually. And out of these skills that we have mentioned, you can learn them and put them into action. After a couple of times, just for it to so come naturally. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, Mrs. I know I am. So I'll thank you so much. Thank you very much. I would have loved it to be more interactive, but I don't know. I can't see the chat, so yeah, I'm actually doing the chat on um, on the YouTube now. There's a whole lot of conversation going on on the YouTube. Um, but probably if you can stick around, ma'am, once we are done, we're going to be taking question and answers so that we can have a more coordinated um, question and answer session, if you won't mind. Absolutely. I'm here till the end. I'm here for all of it. I think I've fixed my internet issues. God has helped me. <laughs> okay. We're well, excited about that too. Um, so we're moving on to the next thing, which is Kahuta. That's my favorite part. Not like this, not like I don't like the other part. I just like this part because I get to like compete. You can see my phone is here. So um, let's take it away for the Kahoot session. Good afternoon, everyone. We're starting Kahoot in a few minutes. Well, while we're waiting for Kahoot, uh, <laughs> that was a powerful conversation Mrs. Ayoyeni had with us. Olabisi, you know, brought a lot of fire. Mrs. Ayoyeni took off from there and uh, took us through a very powerful session. Honestly, I love it. I love it. And um, I know the children have learned a lot and um, this will make a difference in their lives. Actually, why do we do all the things that we do for you children is that you will not make the same mistakes we made as your parents. You know, Some of these things that we're discussing with you today, we did not know them and we paid for it. And some of us are still paying for it. You know, John C. Maxwell said that when he was growing up, his father told him something. John, 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 it's either you play now or you pay later. Or you pay now or you play later. Which one is better? John said he recognized that it's better to pay now when you are young and play later because now people are paying with you. Your parents are paying your school fees. They are paying for your food. They are making arrangements for where you are going to lay your head. They are doing all of that for you. When you grow older, you are going to begin to pay. At that time, nobody is supporting you to pay. If it is the time you now choose to begin to pay, what happens to you? So it's either you play now or you pay later. Or you pay now or you play later. What is my advice, therefore? Play now. Pay now, pay now, and play a little more. And so that later in life, you can play. Are we together? Uh, that is very, very key. We are waiting for the Kahoot game to come up. 
I just need to come up after the conversation that Miss Olabisi has had with us. Superpower is not in strength. You know, um, where I come from, uh, there's a Yoruba adage, you know, and I will try to interpret that is, if you have strength, physical strength, but you don't have sense, you are the chief of all the lazy people in this world. You are the chief of all the foolish people in this world. You have strength, you know. You know, there's another one that calling the foreman, any kind of relationship you're married, that is, when you say somebody is a foreman, foreman, that Very is sad. just, eh? Okay, good. So, so. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for oh, God bless you. Stuff. Bye. <laughs> So get ready to click. Okay, all you have to do is go to your browsers, type in kahoot.it, then brings you, it asks you for a game pin. And the game pin is loading here. So once it comes on, you enter the game pin. So get ready with your phones, go to kahoot.it. Yes, the game pin is here. One seven one four seven seven two. Can you all see? One four seven seven two. Once you enter the pin, it takes you to another page where it asks you for your name. You could use any name you want. It could be your superhero. It could be your pet's name. No, I mean your nickname or anything you feel like using. Then, once we have enough players, we we'll start. I'm still waiting for players. Please join. It's going to be an interesting. Oh, yeah, somebody has joined. Irriti, right? I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Still waiting. We have another Sarah. She was enjoying. Oh, please hope you're not having difficulties. Oh, you, all you have to do is go to kahoot.it on your phone browsers, your laptop, or tablet, whatever you are using, and then you type in game pin which is one four seven seven two then you enter your name Super Jed, you want to me? T, welcome T. Thank you, B, A, A, A. Okay, I think once we're like 10 or so, we can start. Oh, somebody just left, please don't leave. You start and probably others will join. So get ready. Savio Conference 2022. Here we go.
we have about 11 questions. This question, uh, okay. Children all over the world are celebrated on World Children's Day. Is it true or is it false? What do you think? I think children are celebrated all over the world on World Children's Day. Time is counting. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So, so, okay, the answer is true. Yes. And that is why we're having this program for you, lovely children. It's in commemoration of the World Children's Day. Then, next. Okay, this is the scoreboard. Is it too fast? Okay, how many people got it right? Okay, okay, well done, everybody. Let's go to the next question. Okay, children are tomorrow's leaders. What do you think? True or false? You see the image here. Does it give you a hint of what the answer should be? Is it true or is it false? Which do you think is the perfect answer? Are children tomorrow's leaders? Oh, okay. Uh, nobody got it right. So, <laughs> as nobody got it right. Well, children are not leaders of tomorrow. Blue for true, red for false. Yes, sorry. This <laughs> color of colors. Thank you. Okay, ma, we are leaders of today, not of tomorrow. Because right now you have the skills, the necessary skills that makes you a leader. You have the ability, you have integrity, you have a vision, you are really resilient, you have really resilience and so forth. So all this makes you a leaders of today because today you are already setting forth to achieve everything that you hope to achieve in your, to succeed in life. You don't wait till tomorrow. So let's go to the next question. A true or false? It's also a true or false answer. It is important to be kind. Is it blue or red? Blue is true, red is false. Which do you think is the perfect answer? Not the perfect answer, which do you think is the right answer? Is it important to be kind? Do you think it's important to be kind? Do you think it's important for people to see you as a kind person? The answer is true, yes. And being kind is a soft skill because when you are kind, you are able to relate to other people and people are able to relate to you. Then the next question, here we go. Many people got it right. Wow. Liberty, OA, Zara, Zara. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. Let's go to the next question. When you trust, when people trust, when people trust you, it means you are joyful, which is red, honest, blue, playful, yellow, intelligent, green, which do you think is answer? When people trust you, when you're in class and your classmates trust you, your teachers trust you, your parents trust you, why do you think they trust you? It's because you're honest. When you are trustworthy, you are an honest person, and it's a soft skill you also need to be able to excel. It's a superpower also. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Wow. Boom T is top of the chat. Okay, let's keep going. Well done, everyone. The fifth question. When your friends ask you to bully a classmate, what do you do? Do you face this kind of challenges whereby a friend of yours or your friends ask you, team or come together and say, let's bully a classmate? What will you do in such situations? Do you go ahead and do what they what they ask you to do, which is the red? Two, so, do you stand up to them and refuse to do it? See, do you report them to your teacher? D, do you um either B and C? Who do you think is the answer? it's b and c you stand up to them and you refuse to do it our and you can also report them to your teacher because bullying is not an attribute a good child should have 
bullying is not even something you should do to anybody. It's something you should keep away from and talk to other people against it. And when you bully people, it means you have no empathy, you're not kind, and you don't have the skills that you need. You don't have the soft skills you need to excel in all you do. So let's go to the next question. Top of the chat. Well done, everyone. The next question. Loading. You are able to finish your school project with your classmates by. Hmm, you can see an image of boys working on their school project. It could be a science project, art project. Is it by teamwork? Is it by joking around? Is it by fighting each other? Or is it by moving around? Who do you think it is? You work as a team, you joke around, you fight, or do you move around? Which okay, it's teamwork because by teamwork, you get to put your ideas together, you get to research, you get to try and fail. You might make mistakes, but you learn together, and that way you're able to finish it up together. So, working together is also a soft skill, which is a superpower that you need as a child. Next. Well done. See how this has three correct answers in order. Well done, see. Then let's go to the next question. If this is a true or false answer. Is it a child in most countries? Is anyone below 18? Do you think that is true? Blue for true, false for red. Who is a child in most countries? Including Nigeria and other countries all over the world. To tell anybody to do it. It's true. Blue. Yes, as a child, you are children because you are in most countries, anybody who is below 18 is referred to as a child. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Um, just have two more questions to go. Number eight, I was nominated as a class representative because of my dash skill. Is it my art skill? Is it my math skill? Is it my leadership skill? Or is it my technology skill? Um, art skill is red, math skill is blue, leadership skill is yellow, and green skill is um, green is technology. Which do you think is the right answer? Yes, because of my leadership skill. When you have, which is also a, a soft skill and also a superpower that you need to excel. Because when you're able to lead others, being a leader goes beyond just being the head. It gives you roles and responsibilities that you have to be able to carry out. You have to be able to guide, you have to be resilient, you have to have vision, it's a lot of things. And that is why for you to be able to nominated as a class rep, your, your, your classmates must have been able to see that or your teachers must have been able to see that you have those qualities that makes you a good leader okay hmm. well done see still have the highest answer set and everybody else is doing very well thank you Number nine. As a child, having soft skills play a role in my personal safety and protection. True or false? Blue is true, false is red. My safety. Why do you as a child think you have a role to play in that? Or do you just leave it for everybody else to determine how you are safe and protected? Or do I also have a part to play? True. Yes child you have a role to play you have a role to play while others also ensure your safety and protection you also have to take part in it next well done everyone this is the tenth question it's also a true or false answer it is important to greet as it indicates respect true or false when you greet others do you think it means you are respectful? Do you think it means you respect them? 
what do you think? True blue false red. Is it blue or is it red? True false. True. Yes. When you're respectful, when you greet others, it indicates respect. And doing this also connotes the fact that you have soft skills. Also, a soft skill you need is humility. You are, you are, you, it's not just humility, it's, it's respectful and it helps you interact with other people and helps others to be able to relate with you as they see you as somebody who is humble, who has humility, and overall, you have good qualities. Next, uh, this is the scoreboard. AAT is still top of the scoreboard. Well done, everybody else. It's not just about winning, it's also about learning from the wrong and right answers and learning which skills you need as a child to excel in all you do. This is the last question. Being confident helps me dash. Why do you think you should be confident? It helps me jump, it helps me stand out, it helps me stay, or it helps me run. What do you think confidence helps you to have a child? I jump red, blue, stand out, yellow, stay, and run. Okay, perfect, what is right? Yes, it makes you stand out. When you're confident, you stand out in all you do. You're able to be, you're able to be good in your presentations. You are able to excel in your schoolwork because you are, and it's also a soft skill you need. It helps you stand out. You know that. So well done, everybody. That is welcome to the end of our practice game. So, Wonder Woman 3, number 3, the second goes to C, and the first goes to um, loading, 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 loading. Okay, well done, everybody. You are all winners, irrespective, because it, it doesn't have to do with who the winner or who is the leader. It's the fact that you've seen the right answer, you've seen the wrong answers, and you have learned. And all of these questions basically connect, goes back to highlight the different soft skills you need as a child to excel. To not just to excel, to protect, to be part of your, your safety and your protection, to protect yourself when you're confident, when you're assertive, when you have good communication skills, when you have leadership skills, when you, 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 you invite teamwork in all you do. All good. It all helps you in one way or the other. Thank you, everybody. That's the end of the faculty. Mr. George. Wow, what an amazing session. Uh, congratulations, Rete. And of course, remember, it is not about who comes highest or who comes lowest. It's about your, you learning from all the answers, the wrong ones and the right ones. And of course, putting into practice everything you have learned. Now, without further ado, uh, permit me to invite to the podium our next speaker for today, in person of Mrs. Olufunilayo Elizabeth Akilami. I'm going to bring in a citation now. Uh, Ms. Olufunilayo is the co-founder of the Power Parenting Company, LLC. She's an excellent communicator, trained extensively in communications for development by UNICEF. She has worked extensively with the British Council, UNICEF, and SOS Children's Relief International. She's the co-founder of Taiwan Academy Academy and also a co-founder of Securing a Friendly and Protective Environment for Children Society. Please join me as I welcome Mrs. Olufimilayo Akinami. Thank you very much, Mr. Judge. Thank you so much. Nice to have you, ma'am. Nice to be here. It's great to be here. And I just want to say happy World Children's Day to every child out there. As we um, celebrate you today, know that you are special, know that you are loved, know that, you know, we think the world of you, know that to us, you mean the whole world. And that is the truth, you know. And today, um, a special day we've set aside, nothing can be more important. It's just about you and about you guys and about you guys. So today we're talking about something really nice. And I just want to, you know, we've had very great speakers. We've had very great game. 
we've had a video. I mean, it's been awesome. So I wanted to go into the um, chat area on your laptop, on your phone, and let us just know how, you know, it's been so far. How have you seen the program so far? And if you've been enjoying yourself, just say great, 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 you know, and so that we can know how you feel about today's program. Okay, so quickly, because we have to round up very soon, um, we're talking about something so important, some skills that are so important, a skill that, um, you know, it's important that we have as children. And if I may tell you, these are life skills as well, not just um, not just skills for children. Even adults need to have the skills. But how great it will be if children, you know, have such skills. So I'm just quickly going to share my screen with you guys. And, you know, um, so, of course, we said soft skills are super power for our safety and protection as a child. And that is very important. So what are soft skills? These are behaviors, they are habits that are very important. And I'm going to say that again, behaviors, habits, very important in relating with others and in different situations. And, you know, we've had our speakers say that today over and over again. We had Mr. Kilami say that to us today. It's important we have these behaviors. You know, um, talking about um, superheroes, you find out that superheroes, if you look at um, the movies that surround superheroes, at one point in time, they seem like mere, ordinary, lay, everyday people. And then, you know, something comes something happens and then they have those superpowers. But one of the things you realize is that their behavior as normal people, even though it's, it's, it's not real, affects their, I mean, even though what they call superhero is not ill, their behavior as normal people really affects what they do as superheroes. So these are behaviors that we should um, imbibe, our habits we should imbibe, and they are important when we are relating with other people and in other situations, okay? Okay, so of course, that's why we said. So why soft skills? Why soft skills? I mean, what's the big deal about these soft skills? They can guide to make situations better or improve a situation. Yes, for example, we have scenarios where we could be in a situation whereby, you know, um, a situation whereby we called um, that there's an issue of protection. A situation where um, things can happen. Sorry about that, guys. A situation where um, there's a, 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 a protection issue. So there's Soft skills can help us to get out of protection, um, a, a danger issue. Soft skills can help us to get other people out of danger issues. Soft skills can help us to improve a situation, like a bad situation. You know, when we know how to, I'll, I'll, I'll give some example of soft skills and then we'll be able to relate with what I'm saying. They help us in personal, like we said, safety and protection, very, very important. Having soft skills can help us. And what are these soft skills that can help us in personal safety and protection? Like soft skills include honesty, kindness, empathy, standing out. And I just want to take this one after the other in um, as, as much as I can. Honesty, yeah. So, of course, being honest is being truthful, is saying things as they are, is not trying to, um, you know, misinterpret or misrepresent. It's important. That is very important. And in our cloud game that we just did, we saw that when we are honest, it's easy for people, our parents, our teachers, to do what? To actually trust us. Kindness. That is very um importance as well, showing kindness to others, doing things that ought to others, we want people to also do to us, you know, 
helping others, you know, when they actually need help. Like when we're doing the card game, we saw a child that was sitting all by herself, all alone, with no friend. Do we walk up to the person and say, hey, hi, maybe the new person in school, maybe the person, everybody is, you know, you know did something wrong and everybody's like, you know, I'm putting you by the side there. Empathy. Empathy just means that we feel what the other person is feeling and we also um, do something, you know, to make the person feel better if we can. So empathy. Sometimes um, I do remember there was a time that I was in school and um, a child was embarrassed in, at the um, assembly because couldn't spell, you know how it is, couldn't spell a particular word and um, felt so embarrassed, you know, and then, you know, somebody walked up to her and said, you know, you're not the only one, not everybody can spell everything and which is true. I know you feel bad, but let me tell you the truth. Even our instructors can spell every word in the dictionary. You know, sometimes just to put that smile on somebody's face, just to make somebody feel better about, about a particular situation. And then, you know, standing out, this is one of the things we say, you know, at the Taiwa Kilami Academy, standing out. And standing out is, you know who you are. You stand out with great and positive values. You know who you are, you're someone you know, who is honest, who is kind, who has empathy. And it's important that when you're standing out, you know, when people are doing other things, you stand out. I always say something, don't blend in, stand out. Let it be seen that, you know, and, and all these things I'm saying, I can tell you children, you have it in you already. It's right there in you. All you have to do is what? Is to make it show forth. Stand out in situations when people want to take a wrong step in the classroom. You know, they're doing what chassis don't do, going against the person, um, giving someone a silent treatment, you know, at home, um, not watching a, a movie that is not supposed to be for children. Stand out and be like, no, we can't watch this movie. It's not for children. It's not for our age group. It's not supposed to be. So stand out with doing the right thing, okay? Stand out in doing the right thing. Show off positive values, guys. Show off positive values. You'll find out that every time that you know that this is the right thing to do, for example, you know that, okay, um, we've been told not to do this or to do this in the class, in the community, at home, and somebody else wants to do it, don't be like, oh, I, I don't want to, let me just go with everybody else, because if I don't go up with everybody else, it will look like, you know, I'm not <laughs> part of the team. No, that's not going to be a team player. This is positive values. So whatever you want to be part of, you want to make sure that is positive. You want to show off those positive values. You want to make sure that what you're doing is in line with what you've been told to do by an adult or by your school um, policy or code of conduct, you know, for, for students. And that is very important. And um, show up at every time you show up, you know, one of the things I keep looking at when I talk, look at this, um, what we're doing today on soft skills is that there is none of the skill that is not an action. They are all actions. Kindness is an action. It's an action that you do. I'm like, oh, that's an act of kindness. Honesty is something you do. You say, I'm like, oh, that's the truth. This person is honest. Empathy is an action. So there are a lot all acting so show up act that positive value bring it out there let us see it because you have it in you already you know it is so great why do you think the people that are attracted most can somebody tell me are to, to superheroes are children well some adults are but usually are children because they are values children also carry and can bring out you know, how would you feel? Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. George said Captain America is <laughs> his best superhero. So how would it be if something is happening in the movie? Now in the movie, you know, it's not real. How would it look if we are watching a Captain America movie and then there's something happening in the, in the society and Captain America doesn't show up? I'm sure we are all like, uh, what are we watching this movie for? What's up with Captain America? So basically, 
show up guys show up at home show up in the society show up in your faith when you go for your faith uh, meetings show up in school show up at the party show up at your friend's house show up with positive values embrace those values and show up with them now let's think about it what soft skills do you have because you have so that's what is next now. What soft skills, guys, do you have? Can you please write it out for me? What soft skills do you have? Can someone tell me what soft skills they think that they have? What soft skills do you have? Anybody? What soft skills do you think you have as a person? Is it, we've heard so many of them today. Is it listening to people? Is it being kind? Is it being showing empathy? Is it um, assertiveness, you know, showing up? Is it showing off those positive values? Is it standing out? Is it making other people feel good when you know they feel bad putting a smile on somebody's face all those soft skills are very important then how do you think you can use them at home or in school or in the community how do you think you can use them that's very important and that's all we are saying today we are telling you guys that you've got the soft skills how do you want to use them at home? How do you want to use them in school? And how do you want to use them in the community? And do you know that, guys, you can actually be mommy and daddy's superhero? So I'm going to tell you that the next action step we want to do is let's make our superpowers come alive. Hey, you guys out there, you have superpowers. What we want today is for them to come alive. The smartest person is not the best mathematics person, even though it's good to be the best mathematics person, it's good to be the best subject person, but the smartest person in the room today is the one with good soft skills. And hey, if you think you don't have those soft skills, don't feel bad because you know what? We all can learn, we all can build, and we all can become a person with great soft skills. So if you wanna be a person with great soft skill, let me just, um, you just wave, you know, on the group chats on, on YouTube, just say, hey, I want to be someone with great soft skills. So, guys, what I want to tell you today, what I want to really, really encourage us today is let's make our past powers come alive. So, like they say, you know, when they say to superheroes, let's say, go get them, guys. Let's go get them with our superpowers. Let's go get them with our soft skills. Let's show our superpowers and Let's be the superhero we want to see. You love Captain America? You love all those um, fictional superheroes? Hey, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. And then yes, you as well. Yes, you watching me. You are the superhero and be the superhero you want to see. So I say once again, guys, happy World Children's Day. And I dare to say to you, happy World Children's Day again superheroes. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye and have a very nice one. Bye, guys. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yes, I will be my own superhero and I will show up and show forth the good values and, of course, the great soft skills that I've learned from today's program. Yeah, I know a lot of us have been dropping some comments on the YouTube, um, uh, YouTube channel. Of course, I'm seeing some of your messages and your questions. And of course, we have come to that moment where we're going to be talking about our question and answer. So if you have questions right now and you are on the YouTube channel or here on the Zoom, you can drop your questions. I know I have one question here, which is directed at Miss Olabisi. So uh, this is from Ilrete. And our question is, um, how do I grow my listening skills? And I heard somewhere that hearing is different from listening please what is the difference between hearing and listening so mr labisi um if you don't mind 
um, would like you to answer the question so that you really can get a clearer picture of the difference between hearing and listening, and of course, how she can grow her listening skills. So if you have other question, guys, please bring it in. Um, in the comment section, I'm reading everything, and of course, to be directed at whom you want it to be directed at. Okay, I'm not sure. Um, Ms. Alabisi, are you there? Yes, okay, I'm there. Now. Okay. So sorry. Um, I got the question about the difference between listening and hearing. And I also that it's quite different because you know, we hear things every day, every time, and you know, things pass by our hearing. When you are listening to something, you know, your mind is there. You are listening for the words that are said and those that are not said. You are listening to get the intention behind what's being said. Tell for us as young people, when our parents are telling us things, even as I am as a young adult, um, I'm asking myself, what is my mommy saying this thing? What's talking to me? I'm like, what's really? Am I listening to what she's saying? Am I listening to why she's saying what she's saying? Am I listening to what she wants me to achieve what she's saying? So listening is different, it's active. You are conscious, you're not speaking back. I when somebody's talking, you're conscious to hear their words understand it, understand the intention behind it before you give a response. And if you're not clear when you're listening, you ask questions, you know, politely and without any form of guard. I'm like, mom, I get you, dad, I get you. Mr. Oh, my teacher, I hear you. But are you saying this? What do you mean by this? Why do you think I should do this? You know, and they see your interest, they see your heart, they see your politeness, which is a soft skill. And then, you know, you get the best of the conversation. So this thing is not from the hearing. Hearing is sometimes unconscious, it's passive. When even plan to hear something, it just passes by you. Because your ears are functioning well, you know, you hear. But listening is active. You have decided to listen to somebody, to understand them, before you now give a response and abide with what they've said. So, yes, that's, that's one of the differences. Thank you for asking, Deborah. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, Nirete, I'm sure you have got a better understanding of the difference between hearing and listening. And of course, I hope we're going to um, you know, put this into how you behave and how you interact with people uh, around you, your parents, your friends in school, at the work play, um, at the playground, and of course at home. Thank you very much, Mr. Labisi, once again. So um, for the next uh, five minutes, we're going to be waiting if anybody has any question. And of course, even if your questions are not answered now, or probably you, you got the question when you were, because of course, I am also jotting. It's not like I'm just moderating here. I have my jotter here and I've been jotting a lot of things down. And of course, so it's not like I've been sitting down here without jotting. I've been jotting a lot of things down. So in case you are you know, looking at your um, jotter and then feel like you don't understand any particular thing, I'm sure you can always ask mommy or daddy so reach out to Mr. Tyler Kalami or any of the facilitators through any of their social media handles. And of course, they'll be willing to answer your questions. Um, so I'm checking our YouTube friends to see if we have any questions. Okay, we have a question from um, Kia Hamza on YouTube. Um, our question is, how do I apply my soft skill? How do I apply these soft skills to my personal safety and protection. I want to throw that question to Mrs. Olufumilayo Akilami. Please, Ma, um, how, do, how does um, Hamza apply these, these soft skills I have talked about? How does he apply it to his personal safety and protection? OK, um, thank you very much. And that question, yes, I, uh, Mrs. Ayani did talk say one or two things about that as well so you know you could uh, we've said assertiveness like for one we've said um standing out for another is um a soft skill and um in a situation whereby you feel intuition you know you know mindfulness of your environment at all points in time is a skill that is good for personal um, protection and safety 
and it's a soft skill as well. So sometimes you can be in a situation and you just see that, oh, the people around me, um, I don't feel so comfortable. You know, anything at all that you don't feel comfortable with. Like we said, soft skill is an action. It's not passive. Soft skill is not like, oh, I just have it in my heart. And, you know, it's just there. I'm just somebody with soft skills. No, it shows. It shows in our action. So if you're in a position whereby we feel discomfort, uncomfortable. Um, there's an instinct telling us that we should get out of here. Our mind seems our environment. We're looking at our environment and we don't feel safe. It doesn't mean that it's not safe, but we don't feel safe. The next thing we can do for our personal safety and protection is leave that environment. If it's not an environment that we can live on our own, we can walk up to an adult to say, oh, I don't feel safe in this environment. I don't feel safe in this company. You tell mom, you tell dad, you can tell a teacher or a trusted adult how you feel in that situation. And um, those are ways, you know, in which that it is possible to use um your soft skill, which we have said, which we've, 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 we've um, said, um, we've talked about assertiveness, we've talked about mindfulness, which we can use and say at that point in time, no, I don't feel good about this place, I need to leave. Or someone is um, playing or touching or speaking with you as a child in a way you know that is definitely not right is definitely wrong is definitely not acceptable is definitely against a value that you've been taught by parents by you know by us by teachers in school you know it's important that you bring all that together and i'll just also um want to say to a member of our faculty which is mrs ayani that had um that spoke today because she really talked about that to also say one or two things about using soft skill for personal um, safety and protection as a child. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, so Hamza, I'm sure you learned a thing or two. So Miss Ayeni, do you want to add something so that we can round up? Um, oh, well, I think Idi has said almost everything there is to say. It is just application, as, as she has said, soft skills are action words. The same way you they are verbs, they are things that you do. So once you know, once you go and learn about these soft skills, the ones that you think you need to have, the ones you have, you practice and practice, you know, practice with your friends, practice in the house, the more you use them, they are like muscles. The more you use them, the more confident you are to use them. And the more confident you are to use and comfortable you are using them, the more useful they will be for you in situations where you really, really need them. So if you get comfortable, so even if your mom comes up to you to say, oh, maybe something happened and she says, oh, can I give you a hug or can I stay with you for a little while? And you think, I really want to just be by myself. You can say, thanks, mom. Can I take that hug later? I will just like to be by myself now. And you will see that your mom will say, okay, fine, I should go away. And that way you have practice saying no, thank you to your own mom. So then it becomes way easier to say it to a stranger. It becomes way easier to say it to a friend. So it's just basically identifying what you know you need to do. Practice, 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 practice at home, practice with your friends. And then you become quite a guru, quite a superhero, really, at using them. Yeah, thank you very much, ma'am. So the more you practice, the more you become stronger, the more of the superhero you become. I'm sure most of us have seen Superman. You know that when Superman was still very young, um, it took a lot of time and a lot of practice to be able to master all of the superpowers. Same things go for all the soft skills that we mentioned here today. The more you practice, the more you try to use them, the better you get at it. And of course, the much more exposure and experience you become. Thank you very much. At this point, we are going to say uh, thank you very much for the facilitators. Thank you, Ms. Ayeni. Thank you, Ms. Olabisi. Thank you, Mrs. Olufumilayo. Uh, uh, thank you for Mr. Kilamini Kombina. Thank you, everyone, for making today's um, first session a success. And of course, friends, don't forget, everything we have learned here today, it is important that you put it into practice. There is no um, advantage for you to just have it in your notepad, just like I have today. There's no reason for you to just have it in your notepad and then you don't make use of it. 
the beautiful thing about learning is when you put it into practice and then you learn to tweak it. Okay, so oh, maybe when next I'm having a little bit of um, um, pressure from this angle. Okay, probably I don't say this way, I do it this way. Oh, I did it this way the last time and I got this result. Okay, let me tweak it this way to get another result. And that is how you get to be better. And that's how you get to make sure that your superpowers are put into good use and not just in your heart. <laughs> just like Ms. Ayuni and Ms. Lula said, it is not about keeping it in your heart, it's about putting it into practice. Thank you very much. Uh, have a brilliant um, evening. And we've come to the end of the first session for the Savior Conference 6.0. Have a great evening, y'all. Bye. Everybody's maniac, you can touch me My body's mind belongs to me, please don't touch me Yes, I choose to keep my space I'm not afraid, I'll play my part Cause I know Affection. I should stay three meters away. I show up for my safety. I'm vigilant, yes, I keep good company. Listen to what I have to say. Don't ignore me, my future safe. When I am safe, I play my part. Protect my space, I'll let the world know Every part is private to me Every part is private to me Nobody can touch me Nobody can touch me Except for care and affection I should stay three meters away Show up for my safety. Oh, yo, yo, oh. Every part is private to me, nobody can touch me. Any way they think they feel, they might think it's no big deal. It's real deal, don't come too close, stay three meters if I don't know you. Gotta be smart, gotta be safe, gotta be locked, gotta be secure. No, no guess, it's my home. That's a no no, that's a no no. You can only touch me when you wanna give me care. An affection, you can only touch me when you wanna give me care. An affection, every part is private to me. Nobody can't touch me. Any way they think they feel, they might think it's no big deal, it's real deal. Don't come too close, stay three meters if I don't know you. Gotta be smart, gotta be safe, gotta be loved, gotta be secure. No, no guess, into my home. That's a no no, that's a no no. You can only touch me when you wanna give me care. An affection, you can only touch me when you wanna give me care. An affection. Yo, an affection. Yo, oh. Uh.
Everybody's mine, yeah, you can touch me My body's mine, belongs to me, please don't touch me Yes, I choose to keep my space I'm not afraid, I'll play my part Cause I know Affection. I should stay three meters away. I show up for my safety. I'm vigilant, yes, I keep it clean. Listen to what I have to say. Don't ignore me, my future safe. When I am safe, I play my part. Protect my space, I'll let the world know Every part is private to me Every part is private to me Nobody can touch me Nobody can touch me Except for care and affection I should stay three meters away Show up for my safety. Oh, yo, yo, oh. Every part is private to me, nobody can touch me. Any way they think they feel, they might think it's no big deal. It's real deal, don't come so close, stay three meters if I don't know you. Gotta be smart, gotta be safe, gotta be locked, gotta be secure. No, no, guess it's my home. That's a no, no, that's a no, no. You can only touch me when you wanna give me care. Infection, you can only touch me when you wanna give me care. Infection, every part is proper to me. Nobody can touch me. Any way they think they feel, they might think it's no big deal. It's real deal. Don't come too close, stay three meters if I don't know you. Gotta be smart, gotta be safe, gotta be locked, gotta be secure. No, no. Don't guess into my home. That's a no, no. That's a no, no. You can only touch me when you wanna give me care. An affection. You can only touch me when you wanna give me care. An affection. Yo.